Go check out buycheapfifacoins.com to get the best cheap coins around on the market. Use the discount code ROSSI for an extra discount off your coins. It's a fully automated service. So you get your coins instantly. What more could you ask for? Now let's roll on to today's video. Hello guys, Mr. Austin1990 here and it's going to be another video on my potential FIFA 15 ratings cards. Now, if you missed any of the other previous episode, we covered about, I think, six players now in two episodes. But this episode is going to have four players because that is what you guys suggested. Now, the thumbnail, I've changed a little bit. Instead of showing the rating now, it's just going to show the picture of the players you'll see. So, we'll start things off straight up with Memphis Depay. Now, if you can smash the like button on this video, that'll be absolutely amazing. Hit the subscribe button if you are new as well. We're on our way to 70k subscribers. That'll be absolutely fantastic. But Memphis Depay... This video is kind of labelled as the, um, what could you say, young talent or wonder kids as it was. Some of them are a little bit older than, you know, wonder kids kind of label is. But they're all kind of like having decent World Cups at the moment and um, could potentially go on to have a really, really good season. Obviously, a lot of them are obviously already having good seasons and fantastic cards. But Memphis Depay is kind of one which... I knew about, but not. I wouldn't say everyone would know about him. He was a silver card. He's had a team of the season as well as an international man of the match, which has gone gold. His team of the season was a silver, as is normal card. But we'll chuck over to what I think he'll be on FIFA 15, which is card right here. And you're screaming now a 78 rated left wing. I think that's about right. You know, he could go a little bit higher than that, but he'll definitely go gold, in my opinion, with stats. You know, similar to that, if not higher, to be fair. 90 pace, he's very quick in real life, so you'll see that go, you know, 89 to 92 kind of range. So I've gone with 90 shooting, you know, that could be hitting the 80s as well, but I didn't want to push it too high. So I have a lot of comments in my previous video saying I'm pushing them a little bit too high, which I understand, but I get a little bit carried away, if I'm honest, when I'm doing these cards. Um, 69 passing, that could be, you know, that could be anywhere in 70 or a little bit lower. 84 dribbling, you know, again, could be higher, definitely could be higher. Defending and heading, you know, that is what it is on these cards. He's not really known for that, so that's going to be whatever it is. But what do you think of that card, guys? Do you think it looks quite cool? I think the actual pictures on these um, cards I'm doing personally, I think they're not bad. I mean, this is probably the worst out of the four, but um, when you see them, I'm quite happy with them, in my opinion. But we'll move over to the next player now, which is going to be James Rodriguez, or Hams Rodriguez, or Hames, whatever the hell you want to call him. I'm going to call him James, because that is how it's said in English, and I'm just going to call him that for shits and gigs. But yes, here he is on your screens, a right winger. He's had a number of cards. He's had multiple informs. He's had a team of the season. He has a team of the season upgraded card now as well as a I think, yeah, he's had an international man of match card as well now as well, which obviously he's got, he's got blue, he's got a gold, he's got a informed black, he's got a green, he's absolutely balling this year, he's had an incredible season for Monaco, and he's having currently a fantastic World Cup, and it's still going on, he can still do a lot more, but... My God, is he having a fantastic World Cup with that fantastic goal he scored as well, which was just absolutely epic. But the card I'm going to give him um, is this card on your screen right now. I've converted him to a cam. Now, he started off as a right winger, but the majority of his informs and his team of the season card in particular are cam cards. I don't know if that is because Falcao has been out for you know majority of the season with Monaco, if that's why he's playing more of an attacking role. Um, you're going to have to help me out with that one. He could potentially be a right winger again, but 86 rated is what I've given him. Anywhere between 84, you know, probably about 85 or 86 is what I was, was going to go with, but I thought he's had a phenomenal year. He really has. He's, he's up and coming. He's worth a ton. Monaco's paid a bunch of money for him, and if he was to move on again, you know, he isn't going to be cheap as he lads. Let's get real. He's going to be a fantastic prospect for the future. Still very young. I think he's like 22, 23. You know, a lot of years ahead of him. He could potentially be an absolute brilliant player. In the coming years, he can push like 90 on all my team. But as you can see, 80 pace. Uh, you know, he's not he's not epically fast in real life. That's not what he's good at. He's good at dribbling. 88 dribbling is what I've given him. Fantastic standout. 84, you know, you can see the car for yourself there. 84 shooting, 87 passing. Majority based on some of his informs rather than his actual card you see on there. Because, you know, I think EA really underrated him this year. Even though he's an 83... He's like a 91 now on Homer team, which is just crazy to think about. We'll move over to the next card, which is going to be Neymar, of course. Started out as an 84. He's had a number of informs and two um, international man of the match as well, which is, you know, new because that's the only one to have it so far. He's a left winger and a cam. But there's his card. You all know his card by now. He's a very good player. Five-star skills. Awesome, brilliant, whatever you want to say about him. But what we've made him into is a very cool-looking card, in my opinion. I just think that card... Out a lot looks fantastic. His face just like looks right, even though for some reason I've cut off his shoulders, which is a <laughs> rookie error for me. I've only just noticed that, but whatever. He's a floating head, guys, whatever. Left winger is what I've given him. 
because I see with Messi playing in the Barcelona team, he is a more of a left winger, isn't he, really? Uh, I think most of his inform is left winger as well. He's had a couple of cams. I think he's had what? He's, he's, his record card's a striker. I think he's had an inform as left wing. Uh, international man of matches a cam, but that's playing for Brazil. That's a little bit different. And then a left winger for Brazil as well. But that is a card I've given him. What do you make of that, guys? I think it. I think it'll be 87 red. I honestly do. I think 84 is very, very low for him. Um, like I said, if I've made James Rodriguez 86, I honestly think Neymar could easily be 86, 87. What do you guys make of that? I don't. I just think 84 is very low. I don't know what you guys make of that, but he is fantastic in real life. He's proven it now at the World Cup. A lot of um, people saying he's overrated. I think he's very much rated of what he is. He is a fantastic young talent. And he plays for Barcelona, for Christ's sake, and he costs a bomb, so you expect him to be good, and he is very, very good. His stats on card there, which I've given him, reflect how good he actually is. He's got very high pace and dribbling. It's what he is. He'll have five-star skills. You know, I don't know about five-star weak foot. Um, possibly not, but he just looks a fantastic card in all. And then the final card to finish off is my main man, Pogba. I love this guy. It's absolutely fantastic role. If he actually scored for France, um, I'm, I'm going to say yesterday, but it is today to me when I'm doing this video. It was um, earlier on today, but um, yesterday to you when you'll see this video. But you know Pogba, he's had a number of... This was his regular card. It's an upgraded card as well. This is his regular card, I must stress. But we've made him into an 82. That card, again, looks fantastic. His face just looks right on that card. I think I've done quite well with that one, but awesome, awesome player in real life. Juventus, obviously, Man U absolutely kicking themselves that they sold him on for peanuts. I think he actually went on the free, didn't he? And uh, Man U think actually in um, are looking to bring him back, but no, it ain't gonna happen, lads. It really isn't. I do believe he'll stay at Juventus and have another amazing season for them. He's doing all right for France. He's um, you know kind of in and out of the team at the moment. Actually, I think he missed one World Cup game. I might be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure I watched one and he wasn't playing. I can't remember what the reason for that was being, but. Maybe he's a little bit of a bit part player purely because French have got a lot of good players. A lot of good players. They really have. And um, maybe they're given a bit of rotation or whatever. But Pogba, fantastic player. Absolutely god. Godlike player. As you can see by stats, all above 80. You know, that is what it is on FIFA 14 as well. But FIFA 15 card, I think we'll stay about the same. 82 rated. About right. And, you know, lots of informs that come from him as well. But that is going to be the end of this video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have a like, it would be absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see me doing more of these videos. They seem to go down quite well at the moment. And um, I'm just going to say now, Random Hybrid will be put on hold for a little bit. I'll just let you guys know. I was playing football yesterday. And, um, freak accident goalkeeper saved the shot i was about too like very close to him and the ball cannoned up and hit me in the eye and um, basically i've got something horribly wrong on my eye i can't see very well out of it and i've been advised not to basically look at screens for too long obvious reasons so playing a game of fifa might not be ideal for me just now so i've decided to do this video today because you know it's not as much stress on my eye if that's um okay with you guys i suppose i'm not really much i can do about that but hopefully in the coming days random hybrid will be back and we'll be using some very nice cards i've got some coins together and um, that'll be epic 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 but subscribe if you're new to the channel have a nice day i'll see you again soon and bye bye titties